I know I'll look like an idiot out here dancing all by myself, but that's okay. It's a milestone moment, and it just might be a little fun too. we keep in this hutch got out this morning. Squirrel here is the easiest rabbit to catch. His favorite thing in the world is to have a little human attention. So he'll just run right up to you and wait to be picked up. George on the other side really is more interested in female attention. So we found him. Right over here. Mm -hmm. 
next to Autumn's cage. He was just hoping that she would come down and play. Autumn lately has been our escape artist bunny, actually. And when she gets out, she doesn't want to go back in the cage. It takes two people to catch her, and she really likes running around underneath our trees out here. Composting the rabbit poop and the turkey poop out here isn't the most glamorous job, but it does need to be done. What a mess, turkey. This is why Wendy wants to put you in our freezer. Actually, I don't want to talk about compost. This is the time of year when a lot of us are looking back at what went right or wrong for us last year. It's good to reflect on these things as motivation for the coming year. My challenge to you is to look back at last year and pick an accomplishment that was somehow not quite appreciated enough at the time and find a way to celebrate it. You're the unsung hero. You deserve to bask in the glory of your triumph. I want to give a shout out to Jason at Cog Hill Family Farm. He is the dancing farmer. He's got a great channel. It's a lot of fun. He'll dance to celebrate when things go well. He'll also dance sometimes for no apparent reason at all. I'll reserve the dancing for some of the bigger moments for us here at Ivy Acres Homestead. Last year, that was when we got goats for the very first time, and when I was able to finish the buckling shelter and the pen area just in time for our boy goats. Looking back at 2020, there was a project that now that I think about it, kind of did deserve its own celebratory dance. The chicken run roof has just worked great for us and has become kind of a signature element of our Pacific Northwest homestead. Stay tuned at the end of this video for an overdue celebratory dance. Just so you can see. Just so you can see why I'm so pleased with myself, here's a clip of what it was like for our chickens before the roof.
You know, it's all too easy to be self-conscious about congratulating ourselves. Maybe, like anything else in life, it just takes a little practice. I know I'll look like an idiot out here dancing all by myself, but that's okay. It's a milestone moment, and it just might be a little fun too. If I keep the dancing confined to the actual chicken run, almost nobody will see me doing it. You don't have to dance, but find something that's right for you. Take a little credit for something.